this is a small update of the collection. So let's see what's new, what's changed. Straps, new watches, all of the stuff. So we have here the um, Alpinist on a really nice and comfortable um, NATO strap. It's not really NATO. It's a single loop and then it has this little hook here. Very nice and elastic. I like that. It's very comfortable and uh, makes this wearing this watch really, really comfortable. Really nice. All right, so what else do we have? I have developed a love for sailcloth. So I have put my Seiko SPB149 on this lovely Artem strap. Um, it's sailcloth with a rubber coating on the inside. It's very, very nice and comfortable. As you can see, it really forms nicely to the wrist. Um, lovely watch, uh, sorry, lovely, lovely strap there. I have also put a sailcloth strap on this Porsche Design Chronograph. Um, love that watch. It's one of my first luxury watches, right? And it's uh, still find it beautiful. And I think it really looks cool on this um, sailcloth strap as well. This is from Mont Straps, and this is no padding, so that means you can actually swim with it or do anything you want with it because that will just not disintegrate. So very cool. Um, my Tudor. Black Bay GMT is back on the bracelet. My Tudor Black Bay 58 Blue is also back on the blaze bracelet. I have sold the Tudor Black Bay 58 Silver. Yep, you heard that right. I sold it, but only because Tudor launched a new ceramic Black Bay um, Black. I forgot Black Bay Ceramic. What's it called? Yeah, and I want that more than I want the silver one, so I sold that one. Um, the IWC here is back on the alligator strap. Well, not back, actually, it's a new one uh, from Deluxe. Very nice, very soft, uh, and I think it also looks pretty nice. A bit less flashy than the mesh. So what else is new? Um, yeah, my Panerai, my big baby, is um, on back on its original titanium bracelet. Um, it's a lovely bracelet, I love it. It's, it's so soft and smooth and fluid has this nice little itch polishing here i don't know if it's coming out on camera and also some polishing between the lugs in certain angles you can see that it's very nice and uh, very comfortable to wear but yeah that's big alarm clock on your wrist but i still like it a lot so I like wearing it um, then i have put my vachon constantin 56 self winding onto this beautiful um, Hermes strap, uh, yeah, I got that um, without a clasp. It was a new old stock that was lying around, probably some replacement strap, and I just got that for a good price. So I thought, let's put this onto my Vachon Constantin, and it looks pretty nice. I like it, and it's very comfortable, and has this beautiful Hermes quality, which is lovely. Unfortunately, I had to use, use a clasp that I found in my on my other straps, which is not entirely fitting, but hey, what can you do? It works. And I have a new watch in the collection as well. I sold my Grand Seiko SPG A283 and um, bought this one here, which is the SPG E205. So this one is also spring drive, also champagne dial, um, but with a GMT function and a display case back, which I like a bit better. And it's a, it's a bit of a bigger watch. It's, uh, I think, 40 or 41 millimeters, while my previous one was 39. And I also put this on a different strap. This is the Deluxe, I think, Honey or Cognac. I don't know. It's, no, I think it's Honey colored, Epsom leather. Pretty similar to the, to the MS one, but way cheaper. And um, really, really good quality. I love Deluxe. They're doing fantastic straps. Anyhow, so that's that's my new watch, and I like to wear this on that strap. I think that's it for now. Nothing new otherwise. Oh, yeah. The Hanhard SK60. I also put this on a sailcloth strap. Yeah. You see, I got a bit overboard. Uh, but this one with a PVD buckle, so it has the black vibe. Yeah. Really nice, huh? All right. That's it for the update. And let's see what comes next month. I think there should be one or two other things incoming and outgoing, so stay tuned. Bye-bye.